Gigi has come today with a very clear and specific symptom, with the most common illness that guinea pigs have. But guinea pigs, apes and humans don't synthesize our own vitamin C. We have to take it from outside, eating it. It has to be exogenous vitamin C. This illness, known with the name of scurvy, is the most common in guinea pigs. What produced the lack of vitamin C in guinea pigs? In other words, which are the symptoms? Come on, Gigi, why don't you eat a bit? Very good. Very good. The scurvy symptoms are basically skin dermic problems and epithelial problems which produce hair loss and also bone and joint alterations. Can also cause mouth bleeding and breathing problems. When epithelia deteriorates, the animal has less defense against the external gems and it's when these secondary infections appear. One of the ways to fight against this is to give the guinea pig exogenous vitamin C. You can find vitamin C in a lot of foods, but basically in fruits, vegetables. Also, all type of fresh fruit contains a lot of vitamin C. Did you know that this illness was discovered during the first overseas journeys when discovering the Americas? These ships were full of fruits, vegetables and fresh food, but during the journey this got rot. So the sailors stopped eating fresh food and start to eat preserved food in cans and salty food. In other words, food that had lost vitamin C. Vitamin C has a great antioxidant power and as soon as it gets in contact with oxygen, it starts to rot and loses its vitamins. Have you ever heard the classic advice from your grandmother? Drink up your juice quickly before it loses its vitamins. This has a logical explanation. Orange juice has a lot of vitamin C and when getting in contact with oxygen, all the vitamin C rots. For this reason, it's important to quickly eat all the fruit so it doesn't lose any vitamin. Once this is clear, what's the solution? We have to give Gigi vitamin C, give him antibiotics and amend the bone problems that, as you can see, he has, let's say, his legs open and also his joints. Around the wrist are blue. There is an internal bleeding. If we look further, we can also say that he has a bit of mucus. As I have said before, the lack of vitamin C makes the epithelius work wrongly, causing bacteria, causing hair loss, caused by the lack of defenses on the skin. But the same happens in the lungs, which also suffer problems and cannot work properly as these unions between cells make wrong functions. Then, the bacteria take the chance to produce or reproduce an infection process of the upper and lower respiratory tract. If we don't act quickly, our guinea pig can die, so you have to rush to your vet, whom will give you the best solution. To prevent this, you must know that guinea pigs need a huge amount a basket full of fresh food and vegetables every day. When feeding them, don't worry, nothing happens. They can eat as much as they like, they can even eat half of their weight, eating fruits and vegetables. So, I hope you have learned a lot more and you don't suffer what Gigi has.